the trial, I feel, like IPM as a whole, I feel that it's, uh, it's long term. And uh, this, well, trial, I mean, we've, each, each of these crops have been treated with IPM. And uh, I believe looking after the beneficial insects out in the crop is a long term thing. Um, I've had, I mean, go back to the story of when we grew leeks, that's the first time back in 2001 when I had trouble with two spotted mite. That's when I got onto IPM and basically uh, I was spraying fortnightly for, for um, thrips and uh, it was a broad, broad spectrum spray, two different types and I, I was wiping out um, everything as well as predatory uh, mites. And then we had these two spotted mite come in and I started spraying for these two spotted mite. I could not control, they were becoming resistant to different chemicals and uh, that's when I got uh, frightened and I, I got onto Paul Horn and I spoke to him and uh, his first words were stop spraying, don't spray and it gave me a shock. I thought what you can't stop spraying. Anyway we stopped spraying and then he showed me these little tiny mites, the little red um, persimilis that were um, they uh, actually eat two spotted mite, they control two spotted mites. So I stopped spraying and uh, over a period of uh, I think it was about a month or so they built up in numbers and um, ever since then I have not sprayed the leeks for insecticide, uh, fungicide or anything and I've got no aphid problems at all, I know uh, fruit problems at all and I feel that with um, the brassica crops we grow too um, it's regular BT sprays <laughs> to uh, control the um, the uh, caterpillars and I've had no major outbreaks of, of uh, diamondback moth or even heliothus while using uh, BTs and uh, the amount of beneficials we've got parasites, we've got so many different types of parasites that are controlling these caterpillars and um, then we've got damsel bugs that have come in now at, in uh, February they've come in um, and, and the damsel bugs, they're the ones that, um, that uh, suck the juice out of the uh, caterpillars and um, yeah we've got, uh, there are just so many different beneficials out here and it's long term and the occasion that you do have to use a chemical, if you get a large flight of something come in or something does suddenly explode in numbers, if you, don't, if you do use a chemical um, it, it will work whereas those people that regularly use the same chemical over and over again they get resistant build-ups on their property so um, I find that uh, yeah I mean like Pyramore people say it doesn't control lettuce aphid I have found when the wing aphids come in I spray it I might get 50 to 70 percent control but then the rest get controlled by the beneficials they come in and I've had no trouble at all with that so um, I, it's long term, definite long term, and it, it's a way of the future and I do hope most growers or even all growers one day turn to IPM.